whatever your position, slowly start to bring yourself onto all fours and then a comfortable seated. If you've been flowing for a while, good time to grab a little bit of water. If you're just starting your practice, this is gonna be a nice easy stretch before we get into some longer holds and heart openers, okay? So from an easy seated position, you're just gonna gently start to reach that right leg out and then pull that left foot toward the inner thigh. Move the flesh and the muscle back so you find your sit bones and you're sitting upright. And then from here, you're just gonna reach down the right leg and do a basic easy side stretch. So reaching the left arm up and then breathing into the side body here for a few breaths. And we're gonna do a second set coming up. We're gonna introduce a little bit of movement. So bring yourself into that upright position again. Take your fingertips on the front of your shoulders. You're going to inhale left, and then exhale reach to the right leg. Inhale left, exhale reach. Okay, so just continue this movement pattern. Take the eyes where the spine is twisting. So every time you twist to the left, you gently look to the left as far as your body is willing to go. And then every time you come forward, you're hinging from the hips and you're looking down toward the right shin. Let's go for about five more. And getting that release through the upper left side of the hip. And then the next time you reach and you extend over top of that right leg, hold. You can maintain a flat spine or allow the upper body to surrender over top of that leg. Head coming down for a couple of breaths. Good, coming into the second set of that side bend, so taking that right arm just on the inside of that right leg, reaching the left arm up toward the ceiling, inhale, lengthen, and then exhale, go for that reach, finding a few breaths. Beautiful, and as you gently bring yourself up, we're going to reach both legs straight forward. Take three to five pulses with your upper body reaching towards straight legs. And then we're just gonna open up through that left leg now. Okay, switching sides. So pull that right knee in. Position yourself so you're comfortable getting into that easy side stretch. No expectations here to go super deep. It's the first round. And plus, we're gonna loosen it up with a little bit of repetitive movement. Let's take about two more breaths while you're here. Good, and as you gently bring yourself upright, take the fingertips forward on the shoulders. Inhale, twist right. Exhale, reach left. Inhale, exhale. So just continuing to move the body Moving right from the midline. And just like we did on the other side, as your body gets more and more comfortable, warmed up and flexible, every time you twist to the right, try to take the eyes to really look far back to the right. And then every time you come over top of that left leg, your eyes are looking down toward the shin so there's intention with every movement. You've got five more. Okay, three, two, and last one keeps you in a forward fold. You could relax your head, round out, and breathing into those tight spots in the body.
about two more breaths here. We're gonna get into that second side stretch. Taking that left elbow onto the inside of your thigh, reach the right arm up and over. Finding some deeper breaths here. Perhaps you feel as though you're actually going deeper into the stretch, which is fantastic. You're using your breath to make sure that you're supporting yourself in these movements. Good, final breath. Before bringing your body upright, same release, both legs reaching straight forward, three to five pulses, and we're gonna get into that chest opener next. So finding your two blocks, they're gonna be at the back end of your mat. Now you have an option here. If this is your first time doing this, Block one, level one height, lengthwise. Block two, level two height, going the opposite direction. If you've done this many times before, you can increase your block height, where the first is at level two, and the second is at level three. So it depends on how you feel. When you come to lie back, Make sure the first block is basically right between your shoulder blades. So there's maybe an inch or so space between the top of the block and the back of your neckline, the cervical spine. You don't want that first block to be anywhere near the lumbar spine. It's more on the thoracic, so it's basically popping and prepping your chest palate up. And then that second block is just supporting your head. You could TP the knees together or extend the legs straight down. The arms are resting wherever they feel comfortable. And we're here for about four minutes. So take a moment to close your eyes, make any subtle adjustments, movements, and then getting into that position where you can rest comfortably. Keep the eyes closed. Relaxing your forehead. And softening any kind of engagement in the fingertips, the arms, the glutes, or your feet. The brain, like any other organ, is not meant to be stopped in this stillness and meditation. You're simply noticing these passing thoughts. You're noticing the activity of the mind but you're not putting a lot of energy or attention in on what's happening in that area, that organ of your body. Just like the heart pumps on its own and the lungs breathe on its own, allow the mind to do its thing. And all we need to do is consciously bring ourselves back to this moment Counting each breath. We have two more minutes.
posture to wiggle your fingers. Stretch the arms back behind you and find three breaths. Circling out the ankles, the wrists, find a yawn. And then planting the palms beside the hips, bring yourself into a seated position. Soles, the feet coming together, knees open up to the sides, and take a few flutters with the legs. Shaking out the head a little bit from side to side. And then nodding the head up and down. Cradle the right leg into the body. Foot comes into the elbow crease. Right knee comes into the crease of the right um, elbow. And then you're just like rocking a baby. Rock your leg. We're here for about 30 seconds, and then we'll switch sides. Do your best to pay attention to your back. Try to keep a nice, tall, proper posture. Breathing deep into the trunk of the body. And then gently release and switch sides. So taking the foot into the right elbow crease, And then just rocking out the leg, softening through the jaw and the neck so you're not gripping your teeth. And then lengthening out through your spine. Releasing the work that we've done, we're coming in to thread the needle. So as you release that left foot, take your time to turn to the side so you're moving those props out of the way. Tabletop position, feel free to find a few cat cows. Perhaps if you need a quick stretch, down dog, feel free to take it. When you're ready to come in to thread the needle, you're gonna take about three flosses first. So right palm center, left arm up on an inhale. And then your flosses are exhale, guiding that left arm underneath the right side of the body, and then reaching it back up toward the ceiling. So take about two more. If it feels really good, you could continue that movement. When you're ready, you can start to touch down the shoulder. Back of the head is resting on the floor. And then pulling the right hip back. Take about two breaths here before bringing yourself back up into your tabletop, finding a few of those cat cows, a down dog stretch. Before switching sides. So left arm down center, right arm up. Exhale, you're threading the needle, flossing through the sideline of the body. If it feels good, continue to move. If you feel ready to touch down and just breathe into the stretch, try to square off your shoulders, the hips. And you're breathing into wherever your body feels the most tight. Good, one more breath. And as you come back into table, any final release poses before finding your way into child's pose and getting ready for your next add-on.